patients on my 600 pound life mostly have traumatic pasts, which is how most of them ended up binge eating and eventually needing surgery to lose weight. But for some of these people, it seemed that life was not done trying them. So in today's video, we'll look at some of the saddest stories from the show. David Nelson. I take relaxers for back. And then I have your prescription pain pills. When we first met David Nelson, he was 30 years old and at a point in his life where his huge size was impacting his health drastically as he could not even breathe on his own. It's so hard to force myself to get up in the mornings. It all began when David was a small child. Unfortunately, David was born to a heroin addict mother and his father was never involved in his life. As a result, the small child was dumped into the system where he was frequently cared for by foster parents who were only interested in the money. David learned to eat as much as he could at any given time because there was always the possibility of not being fed again for days. However, David's battle with cellulitis, which nearly killed him, and it served as a final wake-up call. As a result, he approached Dr. Now for much-needed help. He weighed in at 763 pounds at the time. He dropped 68 pounds in just a few months at the start and was approved for surgery right away. David was required to shed another 30 pounds and relocate to Houston at the time. However, events changed when he returned to the 730s. It seems so, because you're up to 733. And Dr. Now had no choice but to cancel his surgery. But he eventually came around and lost 94 pounds and had his surgery done. Cindy Vela. Uh, no. uh, okay. The most recent seasons, My 600 Pound Life, stood out from previous seasons because it featured not only the patients with the largest weight loss, but also multiple patients with extremely low weight loss. Unfortunately, Cindy Vela was one of those with poor results. Cindy was nearly fully bedridden and completely dependent on home healthcare professionals, as the first seconds of her episode revealed. Denise, her health aide, was unfortunately her enabler. Denise not only feeds Cindy large, unhealthy meals, but she also discourages her from seeking Dr. Now's help. Fortunately, Cindy's former aide, Sandy, convinced her to visit with Dr. Now. Call the doctor. Can you do that? I will. However, asking for help and accepting it are two completely different things. Cindy struggled with Dr. Now's regimen, expressing her dissatisfaction with the modest meal amounts and exercise requirements. <laughs> Cindy only lost 40 pounds when she was assigned a goal of 70 pounds to lose, and that was the only weight she lost during the episode's year of treatment. Well, how come I don't see any significant changes on you? Looking at you, I can tell. Cindy's current status is unknown. Cindy's weight was back in the 600s by the end of the show. I really have been trying, but no one is listening to me that it's gonna take longer for me. Lisa Eberson. I'm covered up and I really didn't even notice it until my legs and feet and stuff started hurting so bad. Lisa was 637 pounds when she initially appeared on the show. She had a pampered childhood until her loving father turned into a vicious monster. Lisa's father started domestic violence towards her mother as a result of his severe alcoholic addiction, and the trauma Lisa experienced upon witnessing her mother being pummeled could not be explained. She was raped by two guys when she was 13 years old, and as a result, she developed mental health issues. Not only all that, but she also determined that she didn't want to be touched by any other men. As a result, she began compulsive eating as the only way to change her appearance. She had gained 637 pounds and had been bedridden for over four years by the time she was 53. She was hit by a surge of awareness that she needed to start a new life after having trouble living the life of her failed relationship with Randy, with whom she had spent 10 years together. As a result, she sought assistance from Dr. Now and eventually lost 83 pounds. You would like to go over and discuss that we haven't talked about? Mm -mm. Mike McGinnis. When I came back home after my injuries, I had no direction when life was nothing but football. It's painful to watch this story unfold. Yes, he was child-centered, but he used his problems to his advantage. However, the NCAA ruled him medically ineligible to participate in college, therefore ending his hopes of ever playing in the NFL. 
his entire life was abruptly snatched away from him, including his goals, plans for the future, and very existence. He was very distraught, and he didn't know what to do when he felt that his entire identity was robbed from him. So, to cope with the stress, he started compulsive eating and got even heavier, and his wife divorced him as he didn't change his ways. Mike weighed in at 745 pounds at Dr. Now's Houston office that he needed to get serious and relocate to Houston. Mike was unable to relocate to Texas for a long time due to his custody arrangement with his ex. He was able to finish video chats with Dr. Now, and he was able to travel to Houston and live there for about two months before his operation. Mike was cleared for surgery in the fall of 2021, and Mike weighed 510 pounds at the end of the episode. I'm just shy of the goal, but I'm almost in the 400s, so I think all around that's good. Lacey Buckingham. It's okay. I'm really, really missing chili with a lot of onions. I've loved chili since I was little. Lacey Buckingham had a traumatic childhood as she was raped in the third grade. Her mother did not believe her, making Lacey depressed. She developed an eating disorder and soon became overweight. Lacey then entered feeding relationships, in which she ate as much as she could in exchange for guys who would take care of her. But later, she managed to break free from feederism and was dating Ricky when she was introduced to the audience. He seemed entirely devoted to Lacey and was always there for her. She weighed roughly 593 pounds when she got on the show. She was then given a 30-day deadline and told she needed to shed 50 pounds. Lacey began strong, but soon slacked off and began missing appointments, causing Lacey's relationship with Ricky to crumble. Lacey eventually reported Ricky and his sister to the police, stating they had made her feel unsafe. You think you can do that? Yes, I've got to. It's not a game anymore. As for the diet, she was only able to lose a few pounds since she did not stick to her weight loss plan. Despite giving her a second chance to meet the goal, Dr. Now was skeptical of her dedication. She was removed from the program eventually, as the doubts of Dr. Now turned out to be true. All right, so if you need anything, give me a call. Yes. And let me know how things are going, okay? Destiny Lachey. Every day, I feel like I'm dying. And every day, I'm becoming more and more helpless. Lachey began the series weighing 669 pounds and shed approximately 500 pounds by 2021, making them a major success story for the show. She was the first transgender woman to appear on the show. She had struggled with depression her entire life due to her gender identity. But once her brother Anthony died, things spiraled out of hand, and she blamed herself for his death. As a result, she began to binge eat in order to escape her torments. She only lived to eat, and all she did was wait for her mother and sister to cook and serve her food. She acknowledged using food addiction as a coping method to deal with her despair and mental health issues. She shed 229 pounds in a year, thanks in part to the gastric sleeve surgery she had from Dr. Now. They maintained healthy habits after leaving the show and went on to become social media stars, motivating fans with their weight loss journey. However, she regrettably passed away from unknown causes, which we've included on today's list because despite her weight loss achievements, life took a harsh turn for her. So I'm staying on track and Dr. Now is proud. <laughs> And I'm just feeling fantastic. <laughs> Before we go on to the last sad story on our list, we'd love to hear your thoughts on today's video, as well as if you have any other favorite shows that you'd like to see on our channel. Angel Parrish. I feel like I am helpless every day. Parrish first appeared on the show when she was 42 years old and weighed 570 pounds. She revealed at the start of the episode that she felt helpless and saw herself as an obese whale. Angel also revealed details of her tragic background, including the fact that she had to give up a baby at the age of 14. She became depressed as a result, and she compensated by binge eating. Angel had gained 300 pounds and was pregnant again by the time she was 30. Angel continued to gain weight after Andrew was born until she reached 600 pounds and decided to seek treatment. Angel went to doctor now and lost 165 pounds, even undergoing gastric bypass surgery. She suffered so acute nausea after the operation that she had to be admitted to the hospital. The doctors there attempted to call Dr. Now, but were unable to do so. Angel lost over 309 pounds, or half her body weight, bringing her down to 261. Angel, on the other hand, did not stop there. 
she has continued on her journey and nearly turned her life around. It's been a good couple of months. Things are getting better. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.